what's up everybody in this video I am going to make this port right to this so before further ado let's get started in this video we are going to make a dodge and burn dodge and burn is nothing but the technique that would be used to improve your photograph depth and levels so for this matters I'm going to choose this photograph with a man with some um, six packs on his body is to be used for this matters so I'm going to choose these images from some royalty free images this is the background layer as you all have know now I'm going to make a background layer as a selections and make a control J or command J on Mac Otherwise, you can even do with it a duplicate layer from the right clicking options. Now, I'm going to choose the topmost layers from the layers panel. And then I'm going to do that Control Shift U. This would make this document to desaturate it. If you are struggling with that, you can even do with the same thing go to Image and Adjustments and desaturate from the options right there this will also make some this will also do the same thing as we had done with the shortcuts from there and I'm going to choose the blend mode to vivid light but this is not the file that we all want so don't worry I'm gonna choose I'm gonna ch I'm gonna show you go to filters and others and high pass filters from the drop the menu this will this will filter the high pass high frequency sees from the images. If I am go further away, it'll it'll only allow the higher frequencies from the images as we are having. If I go down, nothing that there is no differences between that. So we have to make sure to compensate on the which is works and which is not. So I'm going to choose some level of intermediate level that would be work for me. You can even do some preview options, enable and disable. For this case, I have enabled that. I, am, I think I'm happy with that. That's why we can even see some differences in that. Whoa, this all happens all over the image, but we're going to make this as for his body. So I'm going to click the clipping mask, layer mask as a alt key so that it can invert the layer mask rather than simply doing the layer mask now you cannot be able to see some differences between that we have done before so for this matters whatever black is not affecting the background layer so i'm going to paint with a foreground color of white with a brush tool that's why we can reveal the changes we have done with that layer with the filters before we are going to do that flow uh, kindly set the flow as 11 or 12 or something whatever you would like to do that if you have a stylus it would be the greatest thing to do that now simply before i'm going to do that i'm going to show you what is the pressing size if you are clicking right clicking mouse with alt key you can increase and decrease the hardness by moving up and down. So, this is the technique the professionals use. If I'm going to left and right, you can even change the diameter of your brush. So, if I'm going to right side, it'll bigger than the bigger. If I'm going to the left side, it'll shrink down to whatever we would prefer for. I think this is the I think this could be enough for me. Now I'm going to increase or decrease the hardness as I thought of. I think this is the time to start a work. Simply brush over that. Don't forget to check your foreground color is white. So now I'm going to brush over his body to make some subtle differences between that. You cannot be able to see that. Currently we have set it as a vivid light. Now simply paint it over his hand, right hand side and uh, uh, to his wrist and to his left arms. I think from the point of view it's a left hand, it's not a left, it's a right hand for him. 
okay now I am adjusted a bit and for his chest for his soldiers ever that and pits and his chest and his tummy and his navels those are the places we want the depth for it okay I think now you can now you can even change to soft light so that it makes some subtle differences rather than the bigger differences as we had in the vivid light so you can even see some slight differences between that if you want more click control G control G control G or command G command G command G on a Mac so that we can increase the depth of the dodge and burn. now for these matters before I'm going to do that, I'm going to delete these three layers because we have missed his face. So don't forget to press on his face and simply paint over his faces as we thought of that. And then I think this could be enough for him. Now don't forget to select the mask before you're going to press on that. If I, if you do like me, then you can't see any differences. Now we are going to increase the depth to his body. We are applying the dodge and bat. So now I'm going to click Control G, Control G, or Command G, Command G on a Mac. Now group those first three layers. Now you can see some differences on his body. That's okay. But the same thing is effects on his face. Now take a look at it. Take a look at it. Now his nose is so. This is not the thing that we want. We have to make some things for his body only, not for his whole faces. So I'm going to select the topmost group. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the thing that we want because don't click the Alt key. Simply click the layer mask that that's why it can choose the layers. Now you can paint over his face with the black color. That's why we can invert the selections to away from his face from the dodge and burning so that it can only apply for his body not for his face now you can see the difference the dodge and burn is applied on his body not on his face that's it this is the thing that we want that's it for this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button you can even group those for your concerns select those and makes make the workspace more accessible for you that's it for this tutorial so don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button down below if you have any questions please put them in the comment sections thanks again for watching adios